these are the five factors in which a potential client will look out for agree for an appointment or once they have agreed to meet up um, you want to make sure you have something important to tell them um, they want to make sure you have something important to tell them that is want to be sure you have the solution to their problem they want to be sure you have something beneficial to share with them they want to be sure you have something tangible Come on, everybody is busy. You are busy. I am busy. You are busy. I am busy. So if you are coming to tell me, hello, I have so and so. I don't know if you can meet an appointment here, here. I like, okay, no, no problem, no problem. Because what you said is interesting. Say, so, okay, let's meet up. They will meet up. You have to tell me, okay, please kindly see it. I have this. I have this. I have to make sure you have something important to tell me. That is one. Two, your client wants to be sure that you are talking to the right person. If the product or the service you are offering can solve a problem, your client wants to be sure that he or she has that problem that your product can solve. It will not be that you waste his time now, you talk, 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 present, 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 present. At the end of the day, he doesn't have that problem. So why are you talking to me? If you have a means in which you can move goods from one place to another place in a faster period, cheaper charges, cheaper fare and so like that, why are you talking to a banker? When you're talking to a, a, a producer on factory that need transportation, but a customer, a potential client, want to be sure that he has a problem that you are trying to solve. That is true. At initials, your potential client or customer wants to be sure your visit to be short. Want to be sure? Oh yes, if I visit, it should not be the ten minutes or the twenty minutes or highest thirty minutes as you agreed for your presentation and your talk. Come on, everybody is busy and responsibility. We all have work to do. So me giving you my precious 10 minutes or 20 minutes goes a long way. In which you should respect. In which you as a seller should always come in, take the keynote, hit the key points. Hit the key point. Be fast. Know what you are talking. You have to tell the person, oh, that's why it's also advisable. Once you are meeting a potential customer, you should let the customer know that, oh, yes, I'm not spending more than... Hello, this is I don't waste your time. This is take a lot of less than 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Let him know to open if this even open his say Okay, yes, sharp sharp is done. Let me what you have to say. Have other things to do. So that wasting his time. Or that he should come and relax now. Come and start saying, um, Baba Tunde, bring it. Ah, um, Tochiku, bring this, feel this, feel this. No, be fast, go straight to the point. Reset it up, explain. This is your 10 minutes golden chance. This is 20 minutes golden chance. Use it well. Time is of essence. Time is important. Time is important. So that's what it means that it's given to you. You should know how to use it as much as possible. Explain. Once you are explaining, try to explain the benefit and solution. Put yourself in the customer zone. Put yourself in the person that is using the products. That way, with that, the customer say, okay, yes, 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 yes. Not say, oh, this product we made with 10,000, this is this. It made from Croatia, it's important from China, it can, um, is this, is that, it's heat temperature, it's 25 sensors. It's come on, no. Say, oh, with this product, it saves time. With this product, it's, with this product, it, might, it makes this and this work more faster. With this product, you don't need to do this. These are the benefits, these are the solutions. Let the customer know it goes a long way. Fourthly, the customer or a potential client wants to know that he's no he's not in any obligation to buy, it's not by force to buy. So that's why I say, sir, I would like to show you this product. It is your from your judge, you decide if you want it or not. Let the customer know. Not to say not let the customer know the customer, yes, it's free. He has the choice to say yes or no. That's why your presentation you should try to do as much as possible in order to sell the products in order to convince them the solution the benefit the factors this 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 can do let him know that should be your selling point if the potential customer wants to be sure that you know be use high pressure or put or taking advantage of him or her that is to say the customer or the client wants to be sure that you know force him to buy your products by being emotional is the religion? This is all those stuff. No, it be a free will. Once the case is meeting you, okay, 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 yes. Not matter. Oh, it's my tribal person. It's my religious person. It's my. It's an emotional. This is what I have to say and feed my family. No, let it be with his free will. Let it be his choice. 
that you guys making it because he needs your product not that he's trying to help you or he's country person or he's state person or a religious person these are the things that potential clients don't want this is business it's not family relationship it's business it's exchange of goods and services come on don't play